What is going on? Tell us about Man, this look, Twitter. Look at fucking Amazon. Amazon today is getting slammed by fucking shit work conditions for people. I mean, they're keeping people working in fucking warehouses over 110 degrees with no breaks. They time everything. They need some fucking counter that shit. I mean, I don't want to buy Amazon now. I mean, but if, if they would have a podcast that could explain it and tell me, hey, the air conditioning broke. You know, maybe I don't know the full context. Maybe the full context is not being reported. You know, those fucking news agencies is always a fucking by the way. I'd like to hear the other guy's fucking side of this shit. All right? And that's exactly what they need, Lee. That's I mean, you can, you can fucking kill that shit, and dude. Talking, and you know who told me this once? I remember Houston was the hottest comedy thing of all yeah. time. And in the late 90s, it was really booming. And one day I went to do a Latino night, and Dane Cook was there. And I go up to Dane. I go, Dane, how was Houston? He goes, man, that's a great club. But he goes, you know what? It was too many shows for the money. I got to figure out how to just do one big show there. Five years later, he was doing theaters. Lee. So yeah. my point is, wow. Lee, that, yeah, you could go Set to comedy clubs around the country. You got There's expenses. And, you know, yeah. how expensive is being out there, Ralph? It's Society. fucking the biggest expenses. It's, it's, yeah. it's, 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 so there's a lot of expenses for the price you were charging. I mean, it's, your thing is a workshop. Right. It's nine to fucking five type deal. For these people, like your thing is a workshop. Your thing isn't just one hour. Your thing is a yeah. fucking workshop. Yeah, yeah, we we did like almost two hours, and there wasn't enough time. No, your thing is a workshop. There's two parts to yours. They got to go eat lunch and come back and have questions. Do you think I should just do like a ho- like rent a room at a hotel? That's what I've been thinking about. Like fucking yeah, yeah. Build and, it. If you and build get it, it, they'll and, come and do it off days. You can you can save a lot of money if you do it off days, bro. And uh, you know if if you can and and book into it that you can adjust the size of the room all right so if you have a big turnout then they can open it up if like not, bananas keep a small boom like bananas like bananas in jersey and, yep and you could do like, Heights. you know you, you ever see those commercial for real estate people that come to your town and teach you how to make a million dollars yeah but that's a scam estate? i don't want to scam anybody. you're not scamming nobody i'm just saying it's the same type of thing lisa yeah. at will be in your area and then what you could do is maybe do a big one and then do a comedy club so you get two bangs yeah. for a buck. Okay. I bet but, I bet Zanies in Nashville would do it, bro. Yeah, Zanies in Nashville. They, they, would there's do a it. ton of comics there that need to be podcasting. And if you had there, I mean, you could do. They put out to all the comedy clubs in the southeast, and all of these comics that come. There's fucking forty guys in Memphis. There's fucking shit ton in Louisville, Lexington, fucking Knoxville, Chattanooga, Atlanta, d- Birmingham. Man, all of those guys will come up. I'd love to do them everywhere, but and that was the one thing that I was, I was surprised by. Like the crowd that came out to Toronto wasn't a lot of comics. There were a couple there, but it was mostly I'm other people. You, yeah. you need Man. right now. There's businesses yeah. that really need your services. You have to find a way to reach them and go. Listen, you know how long you've been plumbing? Thirty-two years. Uh, not for nothing. If you're making a living doing it, you know a thing or two. Right. Get somebody else on there, even if it's for a half hour. The plumbing show. Who gives a fuck? Yeah. Today didn't fucking home improvement. I remember for years. Oh yeah, man. You would teach how to tear up a floor. What's the difference doing it on a fucking podcast? No, there is no difference. What's the difference? It, People want to hear that. I'll hear it, it on the radio. Yeah, work. And, so, and a lot of those guys are fucking funny as shit. Yeah, man. they are naturally. They yeah. just need a co-host, somebody in between. Yeah, and to steer them. Somebody's got to steer them. There's got to be a program also, Lee, that you could push these people on to go one, two, three, ABC, and do what you did. Call them and go, hey, I'm referring these people. I did you, that. You know, with, I know you did that, but yeah. you have to do it more with more companies yeah, now. Yeah. Now the next one is the people they contact to download it because you're leaving. So they don't know how to fucking download it. So there's got to be a company to teach them how to do that. Now you got to go to them and go, oh, yo, I'm going to send you 18 fucking people a dollar apiece. Every week, whatever. I'm just saying. Right. You Man, you're sitting on a gold mine. Lee, There's Lee. just you have to point that at the right direction. Yeah. You, you have a Brother, great bullet. Just come to Nashville, okay? I'd love I'll to. set it up. I'll set it up. I'll get you a night, okay? I know everybody fucking run out there and supports you. Nashville always supports us podcaster comics, okay? That'd be and, great. And I- dude, and not only that, you don't even have to get a hotel, Lee. You can stay at my house. Thank my you. My house is uh, like eight it's blocks empty. away from empty. the club. Empty. And it's empty. And it's a big food, fucking house. There's food, it's food in the freezer. Fuck there's yeah, chili, man. There's chili. There's fucking everything. Thank I got everything that. in there ready to go. I'd love to. Yeah, man. Lee, it'd be my pleasure. And I even got my buddy Aaron who'll pick you up from the hot- I mean, from the airport. My car. You can drive my car. Oh, you my God. You have a Thank good you. Sir. People talk to me all the time about starting something. And yeah. Especially and when they- I go on the road that they do this. I had a dentist talk to me about it. I had a shoe guy. 
but I fucking lost the card. Oh, okay. Oh, but yeah, in Boston, yeah. The Boston. I had a... People are interested in this. They just don't know where to start. It's like a... What's his name? Said in uh, The Sopranos. Everybody wants a cooler. They just don't know where to buy one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. Well, that's, that's, a, that's the issue I found when I was building it. It's just... If you Google it, there's 8,000 people telling you 20,000 different ways to build a podcast. So, like, that's what I said at the beginning. Like, this is just the way I did Listen, it. Listen, but here's the fucking thing. Okay. This is me. This is fucking me. Okay. Yes. I bought the fucking Judy Brown workbook. Right. And I, I read <laughs> about comedy like every other comedy did. But I learned from watching Ralphie May. I learned from watching Bill Burr and Greg Geraldo and Joe Rogan and Ari and Duncan. You learn different things. Okay. Right now, you know, I saw that ad for the people on TV. Hi, we could uh, up your marketing and do this and this and this. That's great. But I'll tell you what you got. You got some kid that went to school for marketing. The difference between that kid and you is you're living it. You've right. seen it. You've seen how our numbers went up, what we did, what works, and what different works in some markets. How many times have you called me and said, wow, we had this guy on who's a celebrity, and he's got no hits, and this guy's a plumber, and he's got 2,000 fucking hits. I wonder what the fuck happened. We learned not to release a podcast on a Friday. Right. That's a dead fucking thing. We learned not to edit a fucking podcast. These are the things we learned by doing. We used to do a podcast. We used to edit it. We stopped editing it. The numbers went through the fucking roof. Right. You know, when they hear you say fuck and yam and fucking Chinese and, they and love all that this shit. shit. They love that shit you because you're talking from the fucking heart. And a nig so once this in a while. is yeah. So this is what you have to tell the people <laughs> that they're gonna sit there and look at you. If I had any type of business today, flooring and fucking tiles, if I wasn't a, a snappy guy, I'd have somebody in there, but I'd have them pushing the envelope. Because I want people to say, what the fuck is Ralphie Mae Flooring talking about? <laughs> right. Fingers up an asshole. <laughs> this could not continue. I'm like, I'm a Christian. <laughs> I'm a Christian. <laughs> These are the people that push you more. These are the people that are going to go, you own that company? And that's what you're if trying you're to do. To that lab right. That's Tony. what you're trying to do online. <laughs> That is the social whatever. You could go on Facebook and dick around and show people what you had for lunch. Who gives a fuck? You know, who gives a fuck? Unless you're reading... Uh, especially because people follow so many people, you really have to stick out. You really yeah, have to man. stick out. And especially if you have a business. If you say, I mean, you, you'll get a lot of hits if you, like, b took what you had for lunch and it's, like, giner. You know, if it's a nice pussy, me. All right? That'll get a lot of hits. Somebody all right, but that's the only it, man. If you're you taking a picture your, of your fucking sandwich, go fuck yourself. Why don't you tape your workouts? I like going to VMAC for the kettlebells. But when they tape my workouts, it drives me crazy. I do it for them because I like them. But I don't do it for me, the why I fucking hate that shit.